Today's guest is Bo from Clover's Revenge and uh, John, the mandolin player in that band. He makes a little guest appearance in here. The only person missing is Zach. He's probably at the library reading some sonnets or something because that's how he rolls. He's just one of those guys. Anyway, uh, super dudes, sweet guys. Go check them out. Give them a like. Listen to the interview. Do the right thing. Don't be that guy. Describe your band. What? Describe your band. The band? Yeah, the, the, the band's called Clover's Revenge. It's, uh, we call it Irish Speed Folk, but we'd be okay with Celtic Trad Punk or uh, maybe a teal grass, like uh, uh, bluegrass and, and green grass kind of mixed together. We, we sort of see ourselves like the, the violent femmes of Irish pub music. What was your best gig ever? What? Your best gig ever. Our best gig? Oh, that's easy. Uh, it was two hours on Shop Street in Galway. We had them bouncing four deep. We made, I don't want to exaggerate here, but we made seven million euros in two hours in the guitar case. It was amazing. We're all retired now. Actually, no. Uh, that was the best gig, but there's criteria. Okay, uh, the first criteria uh, is it has to be, uh, in order for it to be a best gig, it's got to be in a proper Irish or Scottish pub. Um, also, we have to have an audience that's appropriately Falstaffian and uh, open-minded. That's right. Open-minded to our brand of fun. Now, the next most important thing here, actually, the, the most important thing is playing with John and with Zach because uh, we, we push each other uh, to be excellent. We work really hard, and it's an amazingly, profoundly fun experience. I personally think that a best gig must also include a dark and stormy night. That's right, it's gotta be a violent storms, clouds, thunder, clashing. Uh, we've had them at uh, Pub 32, the Celtic Ray, uh, Flanagan's Irish Pub, uh, uh, the Four Green Fields up in Tampa. I mean, dark and stormy nights uh, are my favorite kind of gig. Uh, what is your worst gig ever? Weddings. <laughs> That's easy. Weddings are the worst. Or anywhere where we're not the center of attention. I mean, like, stupid brides. Okay, what's an essential item to take on the road? What? What is an essential item to take on the road? We can't forget Zach. Do you get nervous before gigs? Every time. I, uh, I get nervous every time, but it's like, uh, it's like the kind of nervous you get when you're up at like 4.15 in the morning in Christmas and no one else is awake. It's like you know it's gonna be rad, uh, and uh, and you just can't wait. Okay, craft beer, cheap beer, liquor, or neither? Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> to, <laughs> to all of the above. That's right, yeah, yes to everything. We're gonna do, we're gonna say yes. Uh, yes uh, to all things, uh, moderation in all things, including moderation, that's right. <laughs> So all the beers, none of the beers, some of the whiskey. When I'm luckiest, though, is when I'm drinking my Harp Lager and my Jameson's Irish Whiskey. Uh, what band are you listening to now? What? What band are you listening to now? Uh, right now, I can't get enough of Morphine. Uh, it's just a sick trio, power trio out of Boston. Also, uh, Gogol, Bordello, Beck, uh, System of a Down, um, and Tears for Fears, which is uh, creepily... Uh, relevant today. It's a big deal. Uh, listen to Tears for Fears. Uh, Pre-show ritual. Okay, well, that's easy. For me, I conduct my own private safety meeting in the car. Uh, Zach, of course, has his normal Colinar Vulcan uh, ritual of emotional purging. Uh, JB takes off the undies, man. He's getting booted and suited for a kilted night. <laughs> Playing Irish speed folk. That's right. What undies? <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know what, right before we uh, go on, uh, we all look at each other and we raise a glass to listening and precision. Listening and precision, that's what we toast to. You can only listen to one band for the rest of your life, Minor Threat or Fugazi. What? Which band would you ever only listen to for the rest of your life if you could only choose one, Minor Threat or Fugazi? Fugazi. Bye. The one thing that uh, Bo leaves out of his interview that he didn't tell you about is 
Uh, last year on St. Patty's Day, we were in the streets of Dunedin, Florida, and we're standing around talking. It was me and uh, Bo and John. I think Zach was there. I can't remember. It was a long weekend. Like, you know what I mean when I say long weekend. It was a long weekend. Anyway, Bo is the only person I've ever heard in a band use the word portmanteau in a sentence correctly. So uh, now you're wondering what a portmanteau is, so you know what your homework is. Anyway, check them out. Give them a like. They just dropped a new record. Go get it.